Science sometimes has the reputation of being intimidating, boring, or not important to learn unless you want to work in a science-related field. The truth is, science is all around us. Pacific Science Center makes learning science fun with hands-on, interactive exhibits for its nearly one million visitors each year. Unfortunately, there's a gap in who the Science Center is reaching, with most of their visitors being children and families, missing the crucial group in the middle, teenagers. How can Pacific Science Center engage with teenagers in relevant ways that will excite them about science? Let teenagers know what Pacific Science Center has to offer them. Connect with science teachers to show how relevant the exhibits are to the school curriculum. Connect with teens online and create events for teens to build engagement with the high school community. We will begin with short-term goals in this presentation and cover additional recommendations, details, and longer-term projects in the written proposal. Um, the last time I came was probably in fourth or fifth grade. Um, I think the last time I went was like in elementary school. I and mean, I find a lot of this stuff interesting, like if I saw it now, but I guess it's just not like as integrated into like high school. Let's start by thinking about who and what influence high school students. For now, we'll focus on teachers. Teachers are key individuals for Pacific Science Center. They have the ability to be ambassadors for the Science Center's messages and exhibits. Pacific Science Center is already well established with science educators in schools throughout the state, but most of the programming is geared towards elementary or middle school students. Pacific Science Center should reach out to its existing database of science educators and let them know the great opportunities for high school classes. The Marion Koshland Museum of Science has terrific examples of learning materials geared towards high school students. Pacific Science Center already has some pre-visit teacher guides broken out by grade level, so they should create an informational campaign for teachers, reminding and encouraging them to think about visiting with their classes. Long term, we recommend Pacific Science Center develop in-school programs specifically for a high school audience. A great example is the Alliance for Climate Change Education, also known as ACE, a national nonprofit that educates high school students about climate change through entertaining examples in a presentation style that hits home with teenagers. For example, they use farting cows in their video to demonstrate one way methane is added to the atmosphere. It may seem goofy, but it works. ACE's data shows the presentations leave high school students with a greater understanding of climate change and what they can do to make a difference. The point of these in-school presentations would be to capture students' attention and present science in a way that sticks, while letting them see how interacting with Pacific Science Center is engaging and fun. Given that 73% of teens who are online use social networking sites, it makes sense for the Pacific Science Center to create an online presence with a social networking component to connect with teens directly. Though many high schools currently block sites like Facebook, we don't see this as an impediment to getting teens involved. They will either get updates outside of school hours, or, as one of Pacific Science Center's Teen Discovery Corps students points out, We don't encourage teens to hack into Wi-Fi networks, but that's a great reminder of how comfortable they are with technology and how easy it is for them to access it. We recommend Pacific Science Center start by creating a Facebook page focused on activities and events for teens. The Pacer Center Teens Against Bullying page asks questions and sparks discussion amongst the teen audience. With over 13,000 followers, it's clearly effective. These types of updates will get teens engaged and aware of what Pacific Science Center has to offer. While this Facebook page will need to have adult supervision, Discovery Corps students can help write ideas of what to post that will get the attention of their peers. Posting and checking the Facebook page could take place once in the morning and afternoon. We also recommend having a clearly displayed code of conduct on the Facebook page. 
Not only will the Discovery Course students be crucial in starting the conversation on the Facebook page, they can also help get the word out to their classmates and friends as well. In addition, Pacific Science Center already has a strong network of ambassadors through their existing PacSci, Twitter account, Facebook page, e-newsletter subscribers, bloggers, their board of director, and the Science Education Advisory Committee. Pacific Science Center can use all of these channels to help spread the word. We recommend developing a page on the existing PacSci.org website with information on events and activities for teenagers. This page can be relatively simple, but most important is that it directs to Facebook where the conversations can happen. For now, the page could live under the Education and Programs tab, where youth, families, adults, educators, and scientists are already listed, but we would recommend eventually changing the tab title to make it easier to find from the home page, much like the Exploratorium site does here. We've talked about connecting with teachers and teens online, but what else will get teens in the door? This fall, Pacific Science Center hosted its first ever climate change symposium. More than 200 teenagers attended, and it got them talking about climate change. But we recommend future events be more interactive to have an even greater impact. In the short term, Pacific Science Center can take advantage of their existing features and exhibits, but look for an angle that could draw teens such as teen-only IMAX or planetarium nights with a discount when they show their student ID. Long term, Pacific Science Center can begin to develop unique exhibits and programming just for teens. In our interviews with teens, they suggested Pacific Science Center could host a science fair for teens to learn from each other while having fun. It could start with Seattle area schools and maybe even grow to bring in high schools from around the state to compete for prizes, much like the WSU Imagine Tomorrow Science Fair seen here. They also said Pacific Science Center could host a Seattle area competition for teen bands to show off their talent in a unique venue with a wide audience and bring in a diverse group of teenagers who would be encouraged to interact with the exhibits listen to the bands, but also like kind of go around with the exhibits, then they'd be coming in like for that purpose, but they also like get a taste of the science set. Kind of like Science with a Twist, their existing 21 and over after hours science and cocktails event, but for the under 21 crowd. Our full proposal contains detailed measures of success and free tools for Pacific Science Center to measure the impact of their efforts. Let's review what we've proposed. Pacific Science Center wants to engage with teenagers and inspire a lifelong love of science. This all starts with letting teenagers know what Pacific Science Center has to offer them by connecting with science teachers and showing how relevant the exhibits are to the school curriculum and reaching out to teens online. Secondly, it involves focusing on events for teens. These relevant, engaging interactions are the first steps for Pacific Science Center to engage with teens and inspire a lifelong love of science.